Hey guys, that was weird. Today I want to show you some kind of a somewhat of a special computer because it's um well it's not really that special but it's different than every other doll that I've been making so far and it's a different size as well. Um if you haven't already caught on to what I'm saying, or by the video title, then yeah. It's a very small Dalton Spawn Mini 10V. And if anyone's wondering, the V stands for value. So yeah, it's onyx black. It's 10 inches by the name Mini 10. As you can see, it's like two of my hands. <coughs> it's um has Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3. There you go. It has a 1.6 GHz Intel Atom N270 processor, 1 GB of memory, memory, and um, 160 GB hard drive. So yeah, as you can see, it's a uh, pretty small thing. There you go. Uh, yeah, so it has a webcam that's 1.3 megapixels. And the one thing I literally hate about this computer is a trackpad. It has integrated mouse buttons, so when I tr say try click and drag, I can't do that really easily because it starts going crazy all over the screen and just letting the file drop somewhere randomly and yeah, so it's just horrible. And yes, I did update to the latest drivers and firmware of the BIOS. And uh, the only problem is... Be well, first thing, let me just tell you where I got this from. I got this off of Craigslist for surprisingly 30 bucks. And uh, the reason I got it for 30 bucks is... One, this part's cracked. And it was tried... It will, someone tried to super glue it back on. And secondly, which is something you'll see when I um, turn it back, turn it on, is there's a big two inch line going straight through here. Which, it's not repairable. I tried to do this, which is flex the screen to make the contacts work. I tried uh, cleaning the contacts with uh, rubbing alcohol and everything. I took it apart and it looks great. But, like I said, the screen's broken. I like that. Uh, let me just go a port, port overview. Headphone, microphone, one USB with a power symbol, which the power symbol means you can power anything larger, such as a DVD drive, VGA, Ethernet. On the back you have nothing, and there's no cooling vents as well. I mean, no fans. It's a three cell battery, by the way, which lasts for about two and a half hours on here. Uh, power and charge light LED. It shows the charge of the LED when it's off. Uh, SD card slot, two more USBs, power, and Kensington lock. Nice little Dell logo, very f fingerprinty. So, yeah, pretty small, obviously. 1.3 megapixel camera and a power button. So you can, if you can, you can't really hear the uh, fan because there is none and the hard drive is really quiet. Anyway, as you can see, big ass line right there. So that's kind of, you know, not being, letting me able to see anything. But uh, I'm probably going to get it replaced off of Amazon for, um, it says $49.99 plus shipping, so it's not bad for an $80 netbook. So yeah, I really like the design of it too, it's very nice. And yeah, it has Windows XP Home, like I said, so it's packed right. And uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this well, uh, so yeah, I tried to right click and it moved it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this at all. It has an Intel Atom CPU that's N270, 1.6 GHz, and uh, then 1 GB of RAM. And then the hard drive. Right, I forgot about that. 
<laughs> Again, the hard drive. Is a as Windows likes to see it is a 149 gigabyte where it's 160 and has an integrated webcam which I am not sure if you're gonna be able to see well but there you go that's me kind of but you know you can't really see anything that well with the um, line going through it but it's pretty crisp and clear <laughs> and yeah it has these like really interesting integrated controls instead of the function keys first and then these will be to press say like see the battery you don't have to press function F4 or F3 you just press F3 there you go you have the Dell battery thingy battery meter so and say if you want to actually press F1 so to say for help you press function F1 which isn't really working at the moment since it has no reason to <laughs> and yeah so when I get the screen and everything working with the screen I will make a video and yeah so if you want any more videos of this netbook or any other videos of my computers uh, definitely leave a comment rate the video or videos and subscribe to my channel so yeah thanks guys thanks for watching And as this turning off, I forgot to mention, a lot of people use this as a Hackintosh, which is basically using Mac OS 10.6 or whatever, and making that work with it, which is not something I'm going to do, because I like Windows. So, yeah. See you guys.